click on the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to never miss any updates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters, dear viewers. Welcome to our 10th episode from our series, Correct Your Recitation with Sheikh Salah. Last, in the last episode, we talked about the letters of at tafkhim wa tarqiq at tafkhim the heavy letters, and at tarqiq the light letters. And we said that the heavy letters are Khussa Dartin Qiv Kha Sad Dad Rain Ta Qaf Anda. These are the heavy letters. Whenever you find them anywhere in the Quran, the you should pronounce it as heavy. And if you want to recognize the sound to know how should you pronounce it, you should put an alif after. So if you want to say Qa then you will feel that it's heavy and it's full mouth letter. And as we know that the letters of him of Tafkhim or the heavy letters, they, they you know they're different. Like some of them they're like stronger than the other. Alright. Uh, especially if it has fatha and there is alif after like qala, sala, uh mean This is usually very very heavy all right some others like if it has kasra for example it's somewhere between being heavy and light and we'll be talking about this inshallah and in also in the last lesson we um we recited together so inshallah let's start this episode by practicing again by reviewing uh and you practice some of the um of the rules that we spoke about last time. So, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم We said the A is light, عين is light, واو is also light, and then ذال, ذال, and then we have أش بالله, لام is light, الشيء Sheen is light, Ya is light, Ta is heavy, is half and half al the heavy letters, and then a shay ta, and then we have the alif is also heavy because of ta, and then we have noon. A'udu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim I hope that it's easier for, for us now, alhamdulillah, practice. Remember our rule 10 times every day you practice. Um, whatever we learn, and inshallah is going to be much, much easier. Okay, so let's move on with our lessons, inshallah. And today is one of the most important lessons because we are going to learn one of the most important surah. It is one of the surah that we recite at least 17 times every day. It is Ummul Kitab, it is Fatihatul Kitab. It is a sab al mathani. One of the Sahaba was told by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Surah Al Fatiha is one of the best in the Quran. We should teach our Surah Al Fatiha to our children. Be the first one as a parent. You should be the first one. You should be the first one who teach your child Al Fatiha. Because imagine how many times in his life or her life. They're going to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. Imagine that this reward is going to go back to you, subhanAllah. This is a great honor and a great reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now you learn it first, we learn it together, and then you teach it to your children as well. Bismillah. We'll start by saying, Bismillah. By, of course, we agree. We said, you should start with what? A'udhu Billahi. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين So, now let's start from the beginning. I will mention, I will talk about the most common mistakes that we make sometimes when we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. We need to correct Surah Al-Fatiha because as I said, it is the most important Surah because we recite it so many times every day. There is no, your Salah is invalid without reciting Al-Fatiha correctly. So we should learn it inshallah. Are we ready for this inshallah? Bismillah. So we start by saying, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim, always. And then, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. What is the mistake here? Some brothers and sisters do not think that Bismillah is an ayah. They think it's, it's just a starting, you're opening the surah by saying Bismillah, like any other surah. Matter of fact, if you open your Quran, you will find that Bismillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is an ayah, one of the ayah in Surah Al-Fatiha. So if you're not saying it, it means that Surah Al-Fatiha is not complete. Can you imagine that? So it is very important to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, especially in Surah Al-Fatiha. Do not skip it. Whether you want to say it loud or silent, the ulama, you know, they have different opinions. But now you should say it whether silent or out loud. Okay? So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Heem. Remember in the previous episodes we said what? We said that ha is from where? It comes from the middle of the throat. From the middle of the throat. And the common mistake, especially if your 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 mother tongue is not Arabic, sometimes it's hard because the sound ha does not exist in other languages. You need to work hard and practice more until you eventually master and perfect the letter ha. It comes from the middle of the throat. So what happens? Sometimes we mix it with what? With ha. Ha comes from the bottom of the throat. Ha comes from where? From the bottom of the throat. Ha. We don't want to say. We don't want to say. Ar Rahim. Heem is wrong. Should be. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Heem Ha He Hu Ar-Rahim Ha He Hu Ar-Rahim Ar-Rahim So we try to practice in the beginning you will struggle but remember brothers and sisters we said the harder it is for you to recite when you recite, the more reward you get from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have the evidence from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one who recites Quran and it's hard for him or for her, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them double reward. That's, that's amazing. And eventually you will, inshallah, it's going to be perfect. Just to practice, practice make, makes perfect. Okay, moving forward. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Another common mistake Some people say what? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen They drop the alif walam in the beginning Because they hear it sometimes like this Matter of fact, the Quran, they don't say it Alhamdulillah, they say Alhamdulillah Right? It is Alhamdulillah So there is an alif and lam in the beginning Do not drop these two So you say what? Alhamdulillahi, Alhamdulillahi, Lillahi, Al, Islam is light, Ha, Ha is also light, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Al, A, not Al, Alameen, not Al, Alameen, sometimes we get confused between Ayn and Hams, why? Because Ayn is from the middle of the throat, Hands is from the bottom of the throat, which means they're very close. And the sound Ayn does not exist in English, for example. 
That's why we need to pay attention when we recite Ain. Say Ain, Ah, Ah, Al, Ah. You open your mouth like this. You say Al, Ah, Al, Al, Amin. Of course, you're not going to be doing this your whole life. When you practice, it becomes much easier, and then you will say it very naturally. So don't worry, inshallah, about this. Can you please repeat it after me? Al Alamin. Very good, mashallah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Again, Him. Maliki Yawmiddin. Another common mistake. Maliki. By adding ya, yeah. there is there is no ya, yeah. there is no ya yeah here. It's not maliki, it's maliki. There is a kasra only. Maliki, like short. Maliki. First of all, we don't say ma. Ma is wrong because ma is not from the letters of what? Al isti'ala, not for the heavy letters, not from the full mouth ones. Khussa, dart, and qidh are the heavy ones. But meme is what? Stifal or light. So we should say what? Maliki. So Meem, Alif, Ma, not Ma. Maliki. Maliki. So Meem is light, Alif is light, Lam is light, and Kaf is light and has Kasra, not Sukun. Some people also, we hear that, um, we heard them saying Maliki Yawmiddin. Maliki Yawmiddin. It's not Maliki Yawmiddin. Maliki Yawmiddin. Again from the beginning. Alhamdulillah, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. 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 Next. Iyaka. Iyaka. Common mistake? Iyaka, Iyaka, Iyaka. It's not Iyaka, it's Iyaka. There is Tashdeed on top of Ya. So you say Iyaka. Iyaka. Iyaka na'budu. Na'budu. Ah. Ah. The common mistake is what? Ah. It's like Na'budu. Na'budu. It's not Na'budu. It is na'budu, na'budu, iyaka na'budu. Sometimes we also hear na'bud. Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'een. It's not iyaka na'bud, it is iyaka na'budu. Iyaka na'budu. There is dal and there is what? Dhamma. Also we don't say na'budu because the dal is light. Right? The dal is from the tongue of lisan, from the tip of the tongue or the front part of the tongue. But dad is from where? It's from the edge of the tongue. <speaking in Hebrew> so inshallah, we'll stop right here. And in the next episode, we are going to continue with Surah Al-Fatiha. As we said, it's very important to know how to recite Surah Al-Fatiha correctly. Until then, I will see you, inshallah, next time. I will leave you fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ITV, call of peace, save humanity.